So I want to turn now to when you were in Korea and in the early 90s you did spend a lot of time in Korea at the training camps there and from what I've read of your experience it was pretty hard yeah and culturally the training style was quite different to what you'd experienced in Australia what I want to get a sense of is how you experienced that then what your perspective was on that then versus now with a bit of distance and hindsight My experience in Korea was so, was when I first went there, it was like nothing I'd ever imagined. And so I've had, I've been there, I mean, countless times. And, you know, my, my relationship with Korea has sort of morphed in, in different ways. And I, you know, I, I love it so much. I actually, I, I would hunger to go back there. And, you know, I don't really have any reason at the moment just to pop over to Korea. <laughs> but I, I really, I do miss, I particularly miss the food. The food's amazing. Yeah. But when I first went there, I was young and I was naive and it was a strange camp because we went there, it was cold, it was minus 15 degrees. We, you can't really get a sense of what's around you when it's just snowy and blizzardy and we would hop in the bus at 4.30am in the morning or whatever and we'd drive like an hour out to the country to this martial arts university mm. and it was the snow and, you know, we'd be running and the sweat would just turn to ice on our faces and it was just this in- very bizarre situation and I think when you're trying to take it all in and you can't quite see what's going on it's very weird you know we'd put water on the ground and it would just turn to ice and and then at that point they used to beat their athletes in Korea with a bamboo cane and so that's just something that they you know that they did but it's something we didn't anticipate that would happen to us and I didn't have an understanding of that so I'd heard about it that it had happened, but I certainly didn't think it was going to happen to us. And so I was doing this run and ended up where the coach said, you know, go, go down in push-up position. I was like, oh, push-ups in the snow, in the ice, are you kidding me, on my knuckles? But he meant, like, get down and hold it so I can, you know, cane you just yeah. below the backside. And I've never felt pain like it. And the humiliation of being down there and being whacked. And, you know, I, I did grow up in an alternative environment. I'd never been hit by my parents, so I just... Mm. I couldn't believe it. And basically our coach at the time had wanted us to experience that because it's sort of part of the Korean experience. So then I got hit again. Um, So I got about 10 10 beatings and the bruising and the welts and it was just like we couldn't sit down for for days. Mm. So what happened though was because it was such a horrible experience for us and we hadn't been, (coughs) excuse me, we hadn't been prepped on what what might happen, it was really demoralising and it just demoralised the whole team. Mm-hmm. So lots of people didn't continue after that who were on the team, you know, incredibly mm-hmm. talented athletes who just went, oh, this is what Taekwondo is about, I'm, I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. And I remember just, like, when I hopped on that plane to go home, I thought, there's no way I'm ever coming back here again. I don't want that experience. It was so horrible. And, I, you know, even I com- contemplating, contemplated stopping then. But... Not long after that, after I'd got back and we'd spoken to the, you know, Victorian Institute of Sport and the AIS and it was sort of starting to, you know, move that they'd put pressure on the, the, you know, Taekwondo that we wouldn't be beaten again if we went overseas. But just not long after that, I qualified for another tournament and it was going to be held in Korea. And I just thought, oh, you know, I don't want to go, I'm not going. But it was this big tournament, it was just before the Olympics and it was getting the in, um, just before Taekwondo qualified as a full medal sport. And they said, what I was most scared about was they said, so just after the tournament, we'll train for a couple of days. And I was like, oh my God, you know, a couple of days, no way I can't handle, I'm not going to be beaten. I was like fear just like, you know, convulsing through my veins. I was just so, I thought, oh, I can't get beaten again. Because the environment in the training hall, you know, when the guy's standing there just banging the stick on the ground, you know, it's just, and whacking all the other athletes, it was just like, oh, I couldn't think properly. I couldn't do the combinations. And I was so, I was sort of, I was, yeah, paralysed with yeah. this fear. But I really wanted to compete in this tournament. So when I went over there, I went through, uh, you know, through the fights and did quite well. And then I fought the the Korean in the final. And that was probably the biggest turning point for me because the Korean girl that I fought was one that we'd trained next to when we went on this first camp. And I thought, 
I've run up the hill with you. I've, you know, gone through the mountains in the snow with the, you know, tripping over, break, you know, almost breaking our ankles in the mud and the ice. And, and I know I'm as fast as you and I'm as good as you. And it just, it, you know, it goes to show how much the mental, the mindset is just so important because... I just felt like I could beat her because I had this... She wasn't like, oh, the Koreans are so amazing because they'd held the ranks for so long in talking about history. And so there was something that happened. It was just mainly in the second round. And there's three rounds in Taekwondo. And I just... Something came out of me and I just did all the right things. It all came together. I was totally in the moment. Scored a lot of points. And that was the round that won the whole fight for me. So I won that tournament. Mm -hmm. And that was really the turning point where I thought, oh, you know, there's some, I've got something in, in me. <laughs> but, yeah. And it wasn't, it wasn't technique based. It wasn't like, gee, I've got a good roundhouse kick. It was like, oh, no, I've got something in me that can put this together in the mm -hmm. ring. And, you know, I just beat the Korean girl. And um, that was a big, a big win for me. And I guess a big, um, it gave me a lot of confidence.